Welcome to Anime Love Guys. Hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, then please subscribe to the channel to see more awesome videos like this. With Netflix and Hulu ramping up their anime coverage, Amazon is doing its best to keep up. Though Amazon Prime doesn't have the same reputation for its anime catalog as its counterparts, the streaming service has developed a respectable mix of classics, hidden gems, and brand new series and movies that's low-key impressive in its own right. Here are the top 10 animes on Amazon Prime right now. Number 10 on our list, Akira. Akira is ingrained in pop culture to the point of perhaps needing no introduction. It was largely responsible for the boom of anime aimed towards more adult, westernized audiences in the late 80s, and the list of titles, anime and otherwise, influenced by it is seemingly never-ending. Kanada and his biker games Misadventures and Neo Tokyo were brought to life with a technical mastery that has hardly been matched, while also leaving a massive thematic and aesthetic imprint in the genre. If you never got around to watching this sci-fi masterpiece, there's no better time than now. Number 9 on our list, Birdie the Mighty, Decode. This reboot of the 80s series starts with a run-in between interplanetary agent Birdie Safan Altera and Sumodu, a normal high school boy. Unfortunately for him, their meeting involves Birdie blasting him away while she's chasing a criminal during a mission, which forces the kid and Birdie to inhabit the same body while they attempt to reconstruct his own. Their quirky relationship is the core of the series, but it's also adorned with spectacular fights. Number 8 on our list, Cowboy Bebop. You can't get very deep into anime without coming across Cowboy Bebop at some point, and with a good reason. Director Shinichiro Watanabe's more acclaimed work, Cowboy Bebop, set in the year 2071, is a mix of sci-fi, western, and noir films all tucked under a jazz soundtrack. The result is a masterpiece about the adventures of a ragtag crew of space drifters, effortlessly cool bounty hunter Spike and his pragmatic partner Jet, femme fatale Faye, who also suffers from memory loss, and computer wonder kid Ed the show's main source of levity and comic relief. Though Cowboy Bebop mainly receives praise for its varied aesthetics, fully developed character arcs, and thematic punch, its action provides most of the thrill. Like everything else in this anime, the action scenes are an eclectic mix, mesmerizing fistfights, grandiose shootouts, tense standoffs, and exhilarating spaceship battles. A series chock full of iconic moments, Cowboy Bebop will undoubtedly stick in your mind for a long time. Number 7 on our list, Dororo. In the midst of a terrible plague at the height of Japan's Warring States period, Lord Dego Kagamitsu of the Ishikawa province makes a pact with 12 demons in order to save his region and secure a path towards a future of wealth and power for his region. In exchange, each of the demons collect on Kagamitsu's debt by taking body parts from his newly born son, his limbs, his eyes, his tongue, and his skin. 
until the baby is rendered into a horrifying testament to his father's sins, a newborn that's only exposed muscle and bones. Years later, the boy, having survived his father's attempt to get rid of him out of shame, grows up to become an inherent swordsman named Hakiramaro with a prosthetic body, sheathed swords for arms, and the extrasensory ability to see demons. Adapted from Uzamu Tezuka's original manga and anime from the late 60s, Dororu tells the story of Hakiramaro's quest to slay demons, regain his humanity, and learn to open up to other people in a time of immense cruelty with the help of his companion, an orphaned thief by the name of Dororo. Number 6 on our list, Flame of Rekka. Before Naruto became the preeminent anime about young ninjas, there was the Flame of Rekka. Rekka Hanabishi fancies himself a modern day ninja. In actuality, Rekka mostly spends his days getting into skirmishes with other high schoolers. His fortunes change when he runs into Yanagi Sakashita, a classmate of his who has healing powers. Their encounter sets off a chain of events that eventually leads to Rekka finding out that he is the last surviving member of the Hokage clan. What's more, Rekka discovers he has the power to control fire. These revelations soon make him the target of attacks from enemy ninjas who hope to acquire the power of the Hokage. Story-wise, Flame of Rekka follows a tried-and-true action-adventure formula, which of course includes the inevitable tournament arc. However, Flame of Rekka deserves credit for setting a template that Naruto and other shonen anime would go on to follow. Number 5 on our list, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. In Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, most of the humanity must take refuge within massive walls to protect themselves against horrific creatures who eat humans. Stop us if you've heard this one before. Cabinary has its fair share of similarities with Attack on Titan, even down to its production studio. After Season 1 of AOT became a worldwide phenomenon, Wit Studio took a break from Attack on Titan to make Cabinary. Because of this, Cabinary delivers much of the same moments of tension that you get from its studio counterpart. Number 4 on our list, Samurai Champloo. Samurai Champloo features a similar format to Cowboy Bebop but replaces guns with swords. After the tea house where Fu works gets trashed, thanks to the antics of vagrant Mugen and Ronin Samurai Jin, she eventually forces the two to become her bodyguards as she searches for the samurai who smells of sunflowers. By weaving hip-hop culture into the fabric of the series, Watanabe created an anachronistic version of Edo-era Japan, complete with graffiti, beatboxing, and a gripping soundtrack that coalesces with the free-flowing sword fights. Number 3 on our list, Grand Blue. Grand Blue is a tad different from your typical slice-of-life comedy. For instance, it adopts a post-high school setting. Iori Kitahara is gearing up his freshman year of college, moving to his uncle's scuba diving shop at the seaside town of Izu with hopes of embarking on his ideal college journey. However, Kitahara gets roped into joining the diving club, whose members do way more binge drinking than actual diving, and his life soon turns into a perennial bender. You know, college stuff. A majority of the bits in Grand Blue is centered around drinking. However, Grand Blue is one of the best comedy animes out there that will give you a good laugh. Number 2 on our list, Made in Abyss.
The abyss is a gigantic chasm that stretches into the depths of the Earth, riddled with creatures and artifacts from long ago. For those living on the surface, how that huge pit came to be and what lies at the bottom remains anyone's guess. Those who explore the abyss, known as divers, are considered heroes, especially white whistles, a ranking reserved for the most talented and fearless of the bunch. Despite being a novice red whistle, young Rico aspires to be like her mother, legendary white whistle Liza the Annihilator, and explore the furthest reaches of the abyss. After a chance encounter with an amnesiac robot boy, Rico's fascination with that giant pit grows as she's certain this robot, known as Reg, must come from deep within it. The two set out on a dangerous journey into the abyss to recover Reg's memories and see what's at the bottom of that hole for themselves. Made in Abyss is an anime that loves to play with your emotions. Even though the art style might look cartoonish at first, Made in Abyss is way darker than you might think. And number one on our list, Vinland Saga. A Adapted from Makoto Yukimura's popular historic fiction manga series, Vinland Saga tells the journey of Thorfinn Karlsefni, a legendary Icelandic explorer, as he embarks on a perilous quest to avenge the death of his father. Initially set in the year 1002 AD, the series follows Thorfinn's story from childhood to adulthood, maturing from a light-hearted boy into a harsh, relentless warrior until finally leaving to colonize North America alongside Leif Erikson. Drawing elements from real-life historical accounts, Vinland Saga undoubtedly secured a place for being one of the best animes that came out in 2019. Thanks for watching, guys! If you enjoyed the video, then please like it and share it with your friends. If you're not subbed to the channel, now is a great time to do so. And with that being said, I hope you guys are doing well. I've been really missing you. See you pretty soon.